That's not bad. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name's Captain, and welcome back. Let's go ahead and get started. I get called Speedy a lot. I get winked at at work. Those foul heathens! How dare they call you Speedy and wink at you, wink at you! They were probably men too, huh? Fucking penis-wielding sons of bitches. Um, not in like a really obvious way, but just sometimes people walking by, like instead of just saying hello, it'll be like a little wink, because I'm like the little, little admin sitting at the desk, and I just, I think that has a lot to do with the fact that I'm a girl. <laughs> You're a feminist. Of course it had to have something to do with you being a woman. If everything wasn't about you being a woman, personally, I wouldn't be able to recognize the fucking world we live in anymore. We're still making less than men in the workplace, and we're still like, you can't go for a walk at night alone because you're scared something might happen. No, 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 no. You earn less. And you know, the best way I have found to alleviate yourself of the fear of walking alone at night is to carry a fucking gun. And it don't have to be a big ass gun. As a matter of fact, this right here is what I carry with me. There's still unrealistic expectations for women to look a certain way. Again, with this expectation shit. As a matter of fact, you know what? I'm still expecting my sandwich. I've not gotten it yet. And you know what? That was like two videos ago. Clearly my expectations do not dictate reality. That don't exist for men. I think that I still can't walk down the street without someone harassing me, but if I walk down the street with my boyfriend, it's totally different because men respect the fact that there's another man by me, but they don't respect if I'm alone. Let's go out on a limb here and say that you're some sort of creature that has, I don't know, reproductive organs, and you wish to use this biological function. Let's go back out on that limb and assume that you also have higher reasoning skills. You would be able to deduce that someone who is already paired with another mate you cannot have. But someone who is alone and singular opens up the sheer possibility that you could maybe get with that person. Hadoo. Women aren't as visible in the media in like real ways and don't get as much credit for movies that they make and books that they write. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well. Well, what do you mean when you say they don't get enough credit? Do you mean to say that they're not getting credited for what they do or they're just not getting enough attention for having a vagina? In a lot of situations, it seems like there's one role for a certain type of, of girl. You know, we actually tried to let the little white girls play the roles for the little black girls, but people thought it was racist when we put the black face on them. Just the damnedest thing, I tell you what. And sometimes it feels like somehow this room hasn't made space for both of us. Look, okay, the safe space goes to the biggest victim. That's just how it goes, I don't know what to tell you. There's just so many of you motherfuckers, we've run out of room. You know, when women are trying to talk, I feel like a lot of the time they get cut. Nah, I'm sure that was going to be boring. Let's just go ahead and skip it. You know I want to finish what I was saying. No, fuck you. This is my channel. This is my show. We're doing it my way. So, go on with your bad self. Don't give me that look. Go on. Get the fuck out of here. Everybody is connected to this. When feminism started, women were fighting for these intense, like, basic human rights. Oh, son of a bitch. Did we forget to hand out some of the rights? You, you know what? You tell me some of the rights that women don't have, and we'll see about getting them to you. They wanted to be able to work and get educated. They wanted to be able to vote and things that, you know, like, seem so inherent, like, just so, such basic rights for a person. Yeah, yeah, we, we handed all those out. You, you got them. That's, that's good to hear. So, what are we missing? And maybe now, like, what we're looking for is something smaller than that. And then I sat back again and reflected on what I was just thinking and realized that like Like I realized I had a vagina and that that made me special and nobody was treating me special enough. Where's my cookie and ice cream for being a woman? Doesn't anyone care? Expecting to be able to go to school and be protected from sexual assaults and to know that people are going to give a shit if it happens to you and take action even if he's a star football player. The only definition of rape that I'm willing to accept is forced sexual intercourse. If what you're claiming to be rape falls within this definition, you will see people responding appropriately. Like being able to be paid as much as a man, those are basic human rights too. Like, I know I'm not doing the same amount of work that that man over there is doing, but I still want the same amount of money because, like, 
Oh my god, vagina. Now it's like you're going to school and it's like, I'm working towards something and if I'm not gonna get paid the amount I deserve or treated the amount I deserve like respect in the workplace and what am I doing? Like this isn't fair. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I stopped it there. That expression is perfect. You know what, from now on, when you bring up the wage gap, this is what I'm gonna do. But the wage gap, it's just gotta be real because I believe in it. Why am I unable to walk, you know, four blocks without getting harassed? Why do I have to be worried when I put on shorts to go to school? Because you choose to receive comments as harassment and you choose to be worried. Like, how ridiculous is this? Sure, you can go to college, but if you get raped, it's your own damn fault. You know what? No. Mm -mm. Nope. We are not taking that serious. Just no. Like, no. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yes, it is. And nobody ever says it, so why do you believe it? <laughs> the world's gone retarded. Like, you can get kicked out of college in an instant for plagiarizing, but if you're accused of rape, it takes, you know, you, the person that's accusing you has to give an arm and a leg and go through so much trauma just to even get them to think about it. Just because she didn't say it doesn't mean it doesn't happen. Snowflake number one wants us to listen and believe. Snowflake number two, on the other hand, wants us to be clairvoyant. And so it's like, thanks for granting us this basic human right and not protecting us at all. <laughs> what an ungrateful cunt. You think you're not being protected, huh? I don't even know what to say to this. Do you, ha do you have any idea how many people you've just insulted by saying that nobody protects your basic human rights? Truly, you exemplify the term spoiled brat inequality and misogyny just sort of seeps into how we learn how to be people, how we learn how to relate to each other, um, and live our lives. Inequality and misogyny seeps into people. Holy shit, this explains everything. That damn patriarchy. Somehow, it's managed to put inequality and misogyny into our water supply. Oh my god, don't you know what this means? It could be in the air! Quick, everybody! Stop breathing. Understanding like the intricacies of how these things work, it's uh, horrifying, I think. When you're right, you're right. It is absolutely horrifying. You're going to get us and our little equality too. Just goes to show you, most feminists are detached from reality and prefer to live in their own fictional world. A world where they can twist things or just fabricate things to suit their bias. Anyway, at the beginning of the video, if you noticed, I did decide to come on and say hello in person. Since I'm kind of getting close to 100 subscribers now, I figured I would show my face a little bit and let you get to know the person behind the channel. But don't worry, that's not going to become a regular thing. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video. And remember, until next time, keep up the fight against stupidity wherever you may find it. Have a great day.